Welcome to part four. If username and password are blank, we go ahead and do this. Otherwise, we need to go ahead and check if the username and password are matched against the database. So let's set up temporary variables. Um, so put user, and we're going to want to make sure this is clean. So we're going to use uh, the HTML entities, like so. And we're going to send it the post username. And we're going to make sure that quotes are also escaped by adding the, like so. And then we're also going to want to do this to the password. Change this to password. Okay, so with that set, let's create our database query. And we're going to do that uh, within an if statement. So we're going to prepare the statement so it's safe to be checked in the database. So we're going to use the prepare function. We'll do select star from members where username equals question mark and password equals question mark. OK, so if that statement can be prepared successfully, we go ahead and continue. Otherwise, I'm just going to include a quick else, and we're going to echo out an error to the user. Like so. I suppose this should be my SQL I. There we go. OK, so if it could be prepared, let's continue. So we want to do statement, and we want to bind the parameters. And this tutorial assumes that you know a little bit about MySQL I. I did do a complete like eight part tutorial on this that you may want to check into if you haven't already looked at it. So um, back to the tutorial. So statement, we want to bind parameters and the first value includes SS because username is a string and password is a string. And then we want to pass in the input user. So what that does is this question mark then gets replaced with the input user variable. And then we want to do something here. We want to include MD5. Put pass and then we also want to add on or salt. Okay, like so. And then we want to execute the statement. And finally, store the results of the statement. Yeah, just store a result. There we go. Okay, so this little block here creates a MySQLI statement and it selects all the members and it checks for when the username and password equal the username and password that the visitor inputted. And this line here changes these question marks into the variables and it makes sure, makes sure that they're escaped properly and safe to check against the database to help prevent against cross-eyed scripting and SQL injection. Okay, so after our store results line, 
you want to go ahead and check statement num rows larger than zero. So if it has results, if there are users in the database that match, you want to go ahead and set the session variable. And this session variable is the thing that indicates that the user is now logged in. So session, and we're going to give it the username. So the session username variable will now equal put user, like so. And then we also want to then redirect the user to the members page. So we're going to use the header and location members.php. OK, so let's save this and make sure everything's working properly. So I'm going to enter in some quick fake value here. So let's hit submit. OK, and we're getting a blank page. So if we go back, um, let's actually change this slightly. So if we have results, we're going to redirect the user. And if not, we also need to do something. So this means that either the username or the password is incorrect. So let's go ahead and alert the user. So, and then we're also going to then, actually I can just copy again. Um, we're going to read display the form to the user. Okay, so let's preview. Let's enter in some fake data again, and it generates an error, and it shows us that username and password is incorrect. So now, I'm going to go ahead and enter in admin admin, so admin username and admin is the password, submit, and we re redirected successfully to members.php.